Welcome back. In this video, let's learn how to remove a node from the list given its value. The method will remove the first node that contains the value. It will return the value if the node was removed or null if the node was not found. Similar to removing from an index, we will implement removing a value as well across three scenarios. The first scenario is where the list is empty. In such a case, we will return null as no node can be removed. Let's call the method removeValue, which accepts the value that a node might contain. To handle scenario 1, we make use of an if statement. If the list is empty, we return null. With this condition here, we are basically ensuring at least one node is present in the list which might contain a value equal to the passed in value and we can proceed with removing such a node from the list. You're always welcome to add a message before returning from the method for more clarity in the log statement. Let's now move on to the second scenario. The second scenario is where the passed in value is equal to the value of the first node in the list. That is, removing the head node. Removing the head node involves pointing head at the second node in the list. In terms of code, head would point to the next pointer, which always points at the second node in the list. The first node is not reachable and is garbage collected. Head will continue to point at the first node in the new list, which is the expected behavior. If the list has only one node to begin with, Head will still point at its own next pointer, but that would just be null. When you remove the only node in the list, we would have an empty list. Let's go back to Replit and implement this scenario. We begin with an if condition. We check if this.head.value is the same as the passed in value. If it is, we simply point head to its next pointer. This dot head is equal to this dot head dot next. We decrement the size and we return the same value. Again, you could add a message that the node has been deleted, but I have chosen to return the passed in value. Alright, the method now takes care of an empty list and removing a node from the beginning of the list. Let's now proceed to the final scenario where value is present in a node that is not the head or the value is not present in the list at all. Let's first visually understand what it means to remove a node somewhere in the middle of the list. In this example you see, we have four nodes in the list. The nodes contain values 10, 20, 25, and 30. Let's say we need to remove the node which contains the value 25. The only rule we have to fulfill after deleting is that the nodes must point to their next node in the right order. So what we have to do is make node with value 20 point to node with value 30. Pretty simple from a visual representation point of view. When it comes to writing the code though, it requires a little more understanding. So let me walk you through the process in this slide. If you recollect from the previous two videos, I mentioned that whenever we have to do something that is not at the head of the list, it generally involves a temporary pointer that moves across the list. And to delete a node that contains the given value, we need to get hold of the node previous to the node that contains the value. For example, to delete node 25, we need a reference to node 20. For that purpose, we're going to use a temporary pointer called previous. And here is how we're going to use it. We will start off with previous pointing at the head node. We will then traverse the list, advancing the previous pointer 
till we reach the node that is previous to the node that contains 25. The condition would be to advance previous as long as there exists a next node in the list and the next node does not contain the passed in value. In our case, we advance till node that contains 20 as the next node contains 25, which is the node to be removed. At this point, previous.next points to the node that must be deleted and remove node, if you can call it that, points to the node which should now be linked to the previous node. So all we have to do is change previous.next to removed node.next. This will provide the continuity required. Node 25 gets garbage collected and we have the new list with three nodes and head still pointing at the first node. Of course, we do have the case where the value may not be present in the list. Let me quickly walk through that scenario with the same slide. Suppose the value passed in is 60. In this case, our previous pointer would have advanced to the last node in the list as it does not find that value in any of the nodes. At that point in time, we check if there is a next node. If there is no next node, it simply means that we have reached the end of the list without finding a node that contains the passed in value. In that case, we return null. Now that was quite a bit to register in your mind, but hopefully writing the code will help you better understand. If the value is not equal to the head node value, so else block, we begin by initializing previous pointer to head. Next, we advance the previous pointer as long as there is a next node in the list and that node does not contain the passed in value. So while previous.next exists and previous.next.value is not equal to the passed in value, previous is equal to previous.next. We are simply advancing the previous pointer. When the while loop exits, one of two things are possible. One, the previous pointer has stopped at the node previous to the node which has to be removed. So there does exist a node to be removed. In which case, we store the node to be removed in remove node and this is going to be equal to the node after the previous pointer. So remove node is equal to previous.next and we change previous.next to be equal to removed node.next. We also decrement the size and return the value. However, if the previous pointer reached the last node in the list and there is no next node, we return null as no node could be deleted. This is the implementation of the remove value method given an index. Let's verify if it works as expected. Now we already have four nodes inserted from before, so let's continue with that. I'm going to remove everything after get size and instead console log list dot remove value 40. Run the code. We have an error. And that is because we forgot to add const remove node. Rerun. And you can see from 20, 30, 40, and 10, we have removed the node with value 40. Print the list again. And we have 20, 30, and 10 as expected. 
Let me copy paste the two lines and remove 20. That is the head node. Run the code and we were able to remove 20 and the new list contains 30 followed by 10. Try remove 60, print the list and get the size of the list. Run the code and we see null since no such node could be found. The list continues to be 30 and 10 and the size of the list is 2. Our remove value method works as expected. Now I want to quickly talk about the time complexity of the remove operation. Removing the head node is always constant time complexity. However, removing a node in general has a linear time complexity as the node to be removed might be the last node in the list. In certain articles, you might find separate functions or methods to remove head and remove node separately, but the ones we've implemented covers both. All right. Now that we know how to insert and remove, in the next video, let's see how to search for a node in the list given its value. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.